Hello and welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Riley and in today's video we are doing the unthinkable. We are retiring from Galway United. I have reached, eh, I'm only a four and a half star. I know I said in the last video that that would be the last video as a Galway United related video, but then I changed my mind because I want to see what happens if I retire and then five years in the future, what kind of state is this club in? That is a good question. What kind of state? I don't know. I am curious because right now, look at this. Financials, 110 million. Great. Transfer budget, huge. Wage budget, huge. Projections, eh, sale of players helps with that. It'll go down over the next few years. I expect it to go down because no one is as managerial gifted like I am when it versus the AI, of course. But I think we still have a chance. I still think I'm optimistic. In real life, in not real life, but for example, looking at the schedule, we're about to start the season and Barcelona is the first round knockout, first leg, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to retire. I'm going to do the unthinkable and <sighs> retire from football with immediate effect. Yes. I did it. You what? That was too easy. Why was it so easy? Well, there we go. I retired. So now I'm going to fast forward into the future. Uh, let's only fast forward to 2040 just because. So I guess not really quite five years, but yeah, let's go 2040 and we'll see where we're at. So stay tuned. Six and a half hours later. So we are back. We are into the future. It is January 1st, 2040. And I've had a quick little look just to see the state of the club. And no surprise, but it was better when it was in my hands. All right. So first things first. Let's, well, where, where, where should we go first? Let's go to finances. Finances. That's that's sad to see. And it, essentially, in four years, we've gone down a hundred million pounds in the overall balance. What? Wage budget's still high. Transfer budget's been about the same. But man, this overall balance is not good. And you can just see since when right here, it's just steadily gone up a little bit. That's probably when we got to like group stage Champions League, and then. Yeah, and look, end of 2041, they're estimating a deficit of almost 100 million. Holy smokes, that is not good. Not good at all. Are they still expecting reach the first round knockout? Okay, that's fine. Uh, so looking at the squad, I do not recognize most of the people. And of course, I was playing with a 4-4-2. Two, but it looks like it just goes to four, two, three, one, which is whatever. But a lot of these players are not my same guys. Quite a few. My goalkeeper's different. Uh, my back four. The only player that's the same is Maravich. Maravich has been around for a while. He's still here. And improved a little bit too he's looking good he's only 5'5 five five. I never realized that midfielders they're all different like Desler's a guy I signed Rangel's still here how's he doing come on there we go uh, he's doing fine I think I don't know uh, Kai Garner's my guy uh Josep Rojo, Roja, Rojas, Rojas, what am I saying, Rojo, Rojas, I was thinking of Mar Marcus Rojo, uh, but anyways, Rojas is still here, and he's our starter now, obviously Barich is gone, so that's unfortunate, so just, let's just take a look at transfer history, what am I, what am I doing, what am I doing, try this again, transfer history, 
Let's go back to 2036 because I left, I retired during a transfer period. Transfer period? Transfer window. Transfer window. So let's let's just see who they went and spent some money. That is true. They did spend some money. This guy, Mika Vanio. I don't know why they spent nineteen million on him. I had enough strikers already. Holy. Uh this guy. I don't hate it, but why? Why spend all that money? You didn't need to. I think the issue is, who did we sell? And they sold this young guy who I can't click on for some reason. Why can I not click on these guys? What? Anyways, I don't know why I can't click on him, but he's gone. That's whatever. This guy is unfortunate. Um... Ivan Chivich or something like that. We did get make some money off him, but yeah, he was our starting left back. <laughs> so that's a big that's a big need right there. Starting left back gone. Okay, um, Begunian, That's fine. Kofi. I don't even actually remember this dude. That's fine. That's whatever. He went to Dundalk. Callum Reynolds is. He was one for the future. Looks like he's stuck around. What happened? Oh, he came back on loan for a bit. Didn't really play for us that much, though. And he's doing well in the championship. That's the thing. Like, he had good potential. Why did... We didn't need to sell him. He wasn't actually even pushing to leave, either. Ah, this one's a tough one. Nizo, he was our starting uh, center back. Uh, 17 million. Again, that's a lot of money that he went for. That's understandable if we needed the money. And again, he wasn't pushing for a move when I was here. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Kocic. Okay, so we got rid of both our left backs. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? All right. <sighs> so we let him go to Rangers for 8.25. Plays one season two seasons for Rangers between loans with us, and then goes to Man City for $37 million. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, again, I was, not, I was not selling him. I was not selling him. Oh, my gosh. Then they also sold Tomas Ujic. He was, again, our starting center back. Starting center back. How much? Do we get a lot from Elise? Like, look how much he's worth at Angers. He wanted to go there really bad. That I do know. $26 million. Been doing great there. Whatever. He did want to go there, but whatever. Uh Dino Selman. They let him go too. Are you 21 and a half to Ungers as well? Are you kidding me? Oi vey. What? Said Lancrete. Our Belgian goalkeeper who is now the starting goalkeeper for Bayern Munich we let him go we brought him in for 42 he goes for 97 million pounds okay that, that's a good piece of business that's a good piece of business that's a lot of money especially if he was pushing to go but still <sighs> not all this is in January let's just add that caveat right there not all this is in January 2036, but a lot of it, a lot of it is. Eden Byrich, where do you go? Went to Arsenal for 16, and that's it. In the Premier League, he's been good. <sighs> then he went on loan. Oh, my gosh. What do they do to this club? Fabro left. Puza. So our uh, our Polish wonder kid, he went off to uh, Newcastle for 23 and a half. Why did we sell him? We brought him in for 24 and a half. 23 and a half? I, I was getting offers for him for significantly more money. Significantly more. 30 plus. And I was like, no. And he was like, okay, I'm fine staying. 
then he would re sign a new contract with us. Ugh, he's not even starting. Holy, his matches. I... Mm, this is infuriating. Okay, so... Essentially, what I see here is we sent a bunch of guys out for a bunch of money. Look, $221 million. 129 so like that's a net gain of 100 million essentially we didn't need that money let's go look at the next year 2037 our our spending or like we sold less it looks like just more loans i don't even know who this guy is like we're already selling guys that we seriously who is this guy oh is he robinson did i bring this guy in no i no they brought him in for 13 Okay, that's a good piece of business, actually. For bringing him in for... I wouldn't have brought him in to begin with, but they sold him for a lot more. But he went on to be a starter in the Premier League. I, that's that's whack, in my opinion. Who else did they get rid of? Jose Pablo Garza went to the Chelsea. That's fantastic. Uh, who else did we bring in? Goalkeeper, center back, whoever this guy is from Barcelona. Not as good as my uh, left back. Oy vey. Okay, so that's a fail. <laughs> Didn't spend that much money this time. Uh, whoever this guy is, Sam Ben Salim. Looks like he's actually a, a decent player. That's actually probably good business, but we've already lost him. That's actually that's good business. I again, why did he leave? Why did you let him leave? Okay, so Santiago Philippe left. Brought him in for 1.5, went to 727. So Philippe is a Uruguay Uruguayan international. Now he's at Bayern. Okay, it's fine. Uh, Eldin Erofovic, uh, Serbian that I brought in a few years ago for barely any money. I ended up making good money off him. Like, that's fair. Like, he was just a squad like impact sub kind of guy jordy roberts ooh, this is a tough one look how much money i spent on him and that's all we sold him for why sell him why and why not play him i would have used him he was 6-4 like his finishing 15 dribbling 16 17 i brought him in four years ago yet and he has no other caps for whales oh my goodness gracious i can't even. Callum Reynolds, gone. He signed. I didn't bring in this guy. I don't know who he is. They brought him in. That's, that's good business. That's the thing. Like, <clears throat> I know it's tough when you're at a smaller club. Smaller club. And then when you try to retain players because a lot of time they want to leave right i get that but i have been managing it for the most part obviously not perfectly but for the most part i have been managing it as soon as i leave they let everyone go everyone's gone okay that salim guy this is a guy i brought in luis carlos roman uh colombian international 1.4 sold him for a big profit that's that's good business i guess that's good business but like he's 23 years old like, i get i get you can't keep everyone and i don't i don't keep everyone lots of guys have left over the years if you want to look at even my last like 2035 my last transfer window look at all the players that i lost i lost a ton of players more loans than i actually remember doing but like i lost players like where am i where am i uh, Nick Willems. I didn't want to lose this guy. Twenty. He's 24 now. So you got to think. I, th I think I lost him when he was 19. I brought him in for 1.8 million. He's already a Belgian international. He wanted to leave after two seasons. So he goes to Ch uh, PSG. I had no control because he wanted to leave that bad. And he forced me into be saying, okay, if you sign this contract, uh, this Ubero, he's Canadian, 120 caps for Canada at this point. What's his other nationality? Other nationalities. He's English. Prince George. 
He's French. It's Canada. You never know where people are originally from just by their name. But anyways, what am I saying? He uh 120 caps, 19 goals for Canada. And I brought him in for 6.5. He went to Monaco for 19. And then he went on to Leicester. He wanted to leave like ASAP. I had no choice there. So I'm not saying that retaining players is easy because it's not. And it's not always possible. Again, this guy, 4.3. I had him for two seasons back in 2033 is when I brought him in. And look at him, look at him now. Like, what the flip did I just do? So he's 25 years old now. And, yeah, like, he's getting first-team football in La Liga, wherever else. Like, it's I, – I get that it's – yeah, this one's a big one right here. Winther, starting goalkeeper for Man City, $59 million for Mainz. He, he wanted to leave. I had no control. He was forcing his way out. He's causing issues with the team, whatever. What gets me, though, is soon as I resign from my role – Soon as I do, mass exodus occurs. $221 million worth. I don't think I ever... Yeah. And, like, it was unnecessary. Because, you got to think, with how the Irish League works, January, at this point, it is the off-season. The preseason hasn't begun yet. So, like, see? Like, it's all just... It's all done. Next season, we got friendlies, and then, look, you got... They're in their Europa League. First knockout round against Lazio in February. So, it's tricky in Ireland because once you get to Europe, I get through the group stage in November, December. Then I have a break. And then I have January transfer window. And then because the season's done, players' contracts are up or they want to leave or whatever else. Like everyone has a normal January transfer window. I get that. But it's actually so hard to maintain registration because you only can have so many new players come in. And because of the how the seasons work, it's really, really tricky. So I, I'm i sure in 2036, we were supposed to be playing Barcelona in the first knockout round in the Champions League. They had no squad. All of our players were gone. So they probably just got demolished. I actually want to see if I can find what that was just hold on a second okay it actually wasn't that hard to find i don't know why i was so dramatic about it but they only away they lost 3-2 and then home no they actually beat barcelona they actually beat barcelona in the first knockout round then they went on to lose against newcastle in the quarterfinal interesting interesting why am I so dramatic about it then? I don't know. So they made it to the quarterfinal, I guess. I, after winning it, though, it seems a little lackluster. I'll see what they did the next season. 2037. Club World Cup group stage. Oh, I did that. That's cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, hold on a second. Um. Okay, so Champions League group stage... Group stage, group stage, group stage. It's not looking like we did very well. I'm not optimistic that we made it on. Dang it. It looks like we did not. All right, so the next season. What happened? 2038. Europa League. Okay. And then we got knocked out in the first round. Fantastic. Group stage again. Didn't make it through. Here we are in the Europa League group stage again. Thing is, it's not even like they can make it far. Like the second knockout round of the group Europa League group stage. I guess they had Real Madrid, but still, it's close. But now we're in the group stage. Now we're the first knockout round of the Europa League. So it is evident to me that the club has fallen financially. They are in ruin. Not really ruined. They're still 13 million, but the projections look terrible. Players, I don't know why they let the players go like that. I guess the only good thing is the Irish Premier Division is ranked 18th. I don't actually remember what it was now with me. 
Uh, what I want to see is the club. What is the club in Europe right now? And by the club, I mean, you know, this club, obviously. Clubs, coefficients. Let's go. 20th. So we dropped. We, that was a, we dropped, <laughs> which is not great, but it's, it could be worse. It could be worse. Man United 6. Ireland's 19th. Okay. Uh, last thing I want to check. I'm just curious what uh, Ireland is in the world because we were 6th then. 8th. Uh, so, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Competitions. Have we won anything? World Cup 2036 was a no go. Okay. Whatever. All right. So. That's the end of this video and the end of this series. I'm not going to lie. I wish I didn't make this video because seeing all the work that I put into it go down the drain because the AI cannot deal with transfers is infuriating. But say la vie. It is what it is. But I appreciate you sticking around. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.